Hey everybody and welcome back to Quest 64 slash Would You Rather. I'm trying to beat this game for the very first time, and every week we ask and answer two of life's most important questions. Molly asks, would you rather never pee again or never poop again? After the video, head over to the community tab to answer the question of the week. Well, hello, and welcome back to Quest 64. We're back. Uh, you may notice that I'm not in the boil hole anymore. Let me explain. So last time we ended entering the boil, uh, the boil hole, and I said that uh, we were going to go through there and try to find Fargo, right? Well, after that, I changed my mind because I wanted to know more about this big desert to the southeast of us um, because it doesn't appear that there's anything in there, and I thought maybe we'd have to come back later, so I looked it up. And the site that I looked at said that it's actually totally optional. Um, so if we had gone through the boil hole, we probably would never come back. And I did want to see uh, what was up with the desert. So I ran back over here to this hut. And today I'd like to head into that desert and see what we can find. Um, and then next time we will plan to go into the boil hole. So sorry for misdirecting you there. We're going to go check it out. Because there's got to be at least some spirits, if, if not more, in here somewhere. Uh, so, we'll, we'll give it a look. Before we head in, let's start with our first question of the day. This comes from my sister Molly. Always bring in the deep questions. Here you go. Molly asks, Would you rather never pee again or never poop again? You take some time to consider, and let's see if we can see anything out here. Oh, God, no! They're back! I thought it was just a dream. Try and remember how to do this. It has been a while. I had to take a break from playing. I want ice wall. Yeah, look at that immense water power. I'm feeling good. We're gonna beat this for sure. My first time ever. We're almost up to 50 on water, which will be full. Which is great. Look at the healing for 41. That's crazy. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to go with. Um, from seeing other people play and reading what they do, you know, everyone, when they're like speed running and, and playing this game at a professional level, they um, do water and earth, right? Because that gives you healing, and then earth also has a really good defensive spell. Um, so it could be helpful to just bulk up on Earth after this. You know, I, I don't know if we'll get much farther in Fire or Wind, but those are just going to have some more attack spells. Uh, and I don't know if I really need to have more, you know? Because the, the damage I do with water right now is pretty good. Also, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just heading off in a random direction. Just so that's clear. Yeah, saunter on over here. Let's see what you got. Ugh. Do my water spells outpower by a lot? Ooh, my, my staff hits? It's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of hugging this wall a little bit. And hoping that I see, like, a spirit or a building or anything. And on the map, it does look like it's endless. I don't know if it's one of those things where if I go too far out, it'll... You know, like in uh, Zelda or other games, you head off into the desert and you get lost. And it's like, oh no! And sends you back to the, back to the beginning. That might be the case here. I'm not sure. I assume there's not just a wall out here. Or they would have put it on the map. I don't know what you cats are doing, and I don't care. We're heading east. We'll see if we get teleported back. I really like this song, too. I'm glad that they finally changed from the normal uh, field theme. It's a good one. Why do you have a bare midriff? It's not what cats do. So I'm just hugging the wall here. Oh, there's the end. Where did I go? 
took me back, not all the way back, but a ways back. Okay. Well, now I'm going to head off in kind of a southeasterly direction. I thought there might be a spirit, like, tucked into the wall that I was walking near, but I didn't see anything. But there's definitely something out here somewhere. Just have to find it. Now I guess let's talk <laughs> Let's talk about Molly's question here. Um, I assume that means, you know, if you never had to do one of them, what would you prefer? Um... Prob I'd probably, you know, get rid of the pooping if I if I had to pick one, just because it's like more effort and dirtier, you know, it's more work overall. And uh, if I didn't have to do that, you know, that would be fine. Peeing is pretty easy. Ooh, there's something. You see that out in the distance? There's something floating. That's what we're looking for. Peeing is pretty easy. It does not inconvenience me. So that's where I stand. You let me know what you think. If you just love pooping, and you're like, I can't give it up. I gotta have it. Well, I haven't seen any spirits. And they could be hidden somewhere, but I'm not gonna scan the entire desert. Ah, some sort of ruins or something. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen any spirits. I thought... I thought there'd be maybe a couple scattered around, but nothing. So yeah, this thing that we're coming up on, um, the site said that it was optional. So I'm not sure exactly where we're going to run into, but uh, hopefully something good. I'm thinking that if we step on that, we might get teleported. Just want to scan for spirits. Lurking near the back, you know, that, that whole thing. Nothing. Hmm. Alright, well, let's come up here. Yeah, where are we? Check the map. Shamwood. We're in the Shamwood, okay. Ooh, wow. Look at this. So it's not even on the map. I assume that it's... Well, I don't know. I was going to say, I assume it's like in the same desert or invisible, you know. But I think we got teleported. I don't don't know where. Ugh. Everything just froze up there for a second. Alright, so this is Shamwood. I'm not allowed to go outside these fires. Pretty cool looking place. I don't think it's a dungeon. Like, I don't think there's a boss here. Uh, but maybe it's just a city? I have watched, you know, other people Let's Play this, and so I've seen, like, the end and things like that. But I've actually never seen Shamwood, so this is... This is new to me. Yes, I am going to run all the way around here looking for spirits, but I probably won't find any. Just a big waste of time. Ah, I spoke too soon. There was one in the back. 49 on water. Sweet. Okay, I did run all the way around. Just that one spirit. And no fights, so I feel like this is a town. Uh, but haven't seen anybody yet. Can I run around this? Oh, okay. I was like, don't make me run around this pyramid again. Nothing up here. Let's... So, I spoke too soon again. In a game where you hide little things around corners, you cannot have a giant area like this to run around in and have nothing. It is cruel, and I don't like it. Now, let's go inside. You'd think with a name like Shamwood, it would be in a forest, but uh, absolutely not. Oh, good, we had that <laughs> little staircase. Whoa! Whoa, 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 wow, wowee, whoa. Very exciting room. Uh, okay, well, 50 on water. We did it, everybody. I can't pick water anymore. Now, I think I am going to go for Earth. It has some good spells that we might be able to grab by the end of the game. Silent Flute. What else is in here? Is it just a bunch of random stuff? What a find.
yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff so far. Um, which is helpful, I guess. I'll, I'll maybe use it by the end of the game. Or maybe we'll just hang on to it. Spirit Light, what is that? I have not heard of that. HP full recovery. I thought we had another item that did that. I don't remember ever hearing about that one. Maybe not. We got MP full recovery. Huh. Well, while I'm opening these, let's get on to our second question. This one comes from a friend of the channel, Adel Nexus. Thank you very much. He asks, and this <laughs> this is a little a little harder question than the first one. Would you rather go back in time and prevent a tragedy, or go into the future and bring one of its achievements back to the present? Right. So, would you rather go back in time and prevent something bad from happening that you know happened? Or go into the future, grab something that they have, you know, whether that be, I don't know, technology or or who knows what. Get something from the future, bring it back to the present. That's a tough one. So, you know, obviously if, if you went to the future, grabbed some sort of technology, brought it back, you know, you could you could get away with stuff, you could do things that no one would expect, or you could pass it off as your own and rich and famous and all that stuff. Right, depending on what you do. Nice. Um, but, you know, could you choose to do that knowing that you could have gone back and prevented a bunch of people from dying or something else bad from happening? The back door. Or maybe that's just the side door. If it's the stairs on the other side. Yeah, I think so. I think that was just the stairs on the other side. And then we go up another level? This place is weird. But yeah, you know, what What if you could go back and warn people about 9-11 and prevent that from happening? I know that's, and like, that's American-centric. I know it's not the worst thing that's ever happened in the history of the world. Um, but, you know, definitely a, a more local, like, thing you could prevent. Think about going back to the beginning of COVID and affecting affecting something where uh, we actually take care of people and a hundred hundreds of thousands of people don't die from it, huh? What would you choose? Tough question. I think of the two, I would probably try to prevent a tragedy. Like I would choose that if I had something in mind and felt like I could. Because, of course, some bad things that happen, like... Whoa! Found some weird person and a bunch of spirits. Uh, they, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, there's bad things that happen that maybe nothing could be done about. Or, or the solution would be on too big of a scale where one person couldn't change it, you know? So that's kind of hard to say. Uh, there's certainly things that could be prevented if, if everyone knew about them ahead of time or, or if one person did something, so... I would probably opt for that if I could think of a good solution. Uh, going into the future and taking something back, I don't. I don't have anything good in mind of what I would do. And plus, if you run into paradox type stuff, right? If you go into the future and bring something back, now the present is different, and the future that you went to might also be different. You get into a whole time loop scenario. You know, I don't know if, if that would work. And I guess you could say that for the going into the past thing as well. If you prevent a tragedy, then suddenly the present we're in now uh, maybe no longer exists. So uh, time stuff's always hard. But um, I guess if, if I could go back to something, you know, not before I was born, something, you know, when I was a young adult and prevent um, a tragedy, I think that's what I'd go for. But you, you let me know what you think. Or if there's something bad that you think you could solve, what would you do? I'd be interested to know. Now. Sorry, I got uh, hung up on that question. It was a tough one. I am very glad that we came to Shamwood. This place is great. So much good stuff. Spirits everywhere. And this weirdo. Lavar. <laughs> Lavar Burton? What have we here? No one has found this phantom city in a thousand years. I am LeVar Burton. 
I once held the Elotale book, but when I opened it to unleash its incredible powers, I was not worthy. The only powers I could control were those of famine and destruction. I could hate, but not love. I could terrify, but not inspire. Finally, the great magician, Apana, came to my rescue and freed me from the curse of the Elotale book. But my penance is that I have been exiled here, alone for eternity or until the evil that we call Mammon is defeated. Only then will I find my final peace. You with the precious gems of untold power are my only hope. The only one who can free both myself and all of Keltland from evil. Interesting. I'm getting a little, little bit of lore in here. Can I open this? I'm going to take your only possession. <laughs> Golden amulet. I don't even know what this stuff does. Silver amulet increases defense. Does golden amulet just do that, but more? You have to assume. Yeah, two times defense. Anything else, Lavar? Nope, he says the same thing. Okay, so we uh, we learn a little bit. This guy had the Elotale book, the book that we've been looking for this whole time, and he opened it, and it uh, it kind of got him like the One Ring, right? He got consumed by it, and destructive, and uh, only Epona was able to bring him out of it, and then he got exiled to this city full of treasures, just ready for me to take. And so now, we're looking for the book. And I don't, I don't know if anyone has said that uh, Mammon has it specifically, but you have to assume that he does, right? We're, we're going to go take down Mammon. He's got to have the book. Um, he's he's kind of going through what Lavar went through. <laughs> we, we, unlike Apana, are not interested in saving him from his fate, only destroying him. So that's what we're going to do. All right, I just want to make it back to that hut today. If I can find my way there. And they didn't put Shamwood on the map, no. Oh, but it is way out here. So you can see kind of the location of Shamwood, uh, or the teleportation to it. Way the heck out there. Let's head out west. Oh, never mind, you cannot do that. You cannot head west from there. Or I, you can't, <laughs> what, what is going on? I just skipped over a bunch of desert. I wonder if you have to approach it from the north, otherwise it teleports you around. I don't know. There's no way to tell. We'll never know all of the secrets of this desert. All right, my friend, we have made it out of the desert, back to this little uh, mini castle here with what's his name? I don't remember. What's your name? Oh, Walt. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for indulging me as we went to explore that desert. Uh, pretty weird. Pretty big area to have nothing actually in it except for Shamwood, which turned out to be uh, very lucrative for us. Lots of spirits today. And a little bit of backstory. Not too much. Not too much backstory. Just a little bit. But we will take a break here, and uh, I'm going to run back over to the boil hole, and next time we will go into the boil hole, try to find Fargo, and maybe we'll take him down with our... 50 levels of water which is awesome so thank you for watching as always please leave your answers to the questions today down in the comments and for your question of the day this is what i've got would you rather live in a world where trees scream occasionally for no reason or spiders are big enough and smart enough to open doors both of those sound funny and a little bit scary let me know what you think and i will see you next time.